It's you that caused the shoulder pain on keto. It's you that started keto, cold turkey. It's you. <laughs> okay, that was bad acting. Hello, my Choo Choo family. I'm your fun-loving epic vlogger, Tom Choo Choo. In this video, I will share with you about my shoulder pain story and my remedy. And before we talk about this, please like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my updates. My channel is all about keto and everything else. Now, on with the story. Choo -choo. Recently, I was looking up my YouTube analytics and I found out that one of my keto vlog had more views than mukbangs. And I was like, this shorter pain on keto vlog? So I had to do some digging about what was so good about this video. I realized it was one of those keto weight loss updates where I took off my shirt in front of the camera. Really? Do people really just want to see me shirtless? Turns out I was wrong. A um, couple days ago, a few viewers messaged me that they recently started keto and experiencing shoulder pain. Then I realized that Oh, it's not really about my shirtless video. It's really about this shoulder pain. So I thought, hey, it's a perfect time to do an update on this shoulder pain remedy. But just a disclaimer, I'm not a doctor or a fitness guru, so I'm just a random guy on YouTube that had been on this keto diet about a year and a half now. So if you have questions really, Please ask your doctor. Before I share my story, I had to tell you some facts about keto diet. First, keto diet is a high fat, moderate protein and very low carb diet. It ranges from 75% fat, 20% protein and 5% carbs to somewhere fats are heavily consumed. Now, this is just my story and my information I gathered when I was experiencing shoulder pain on keto. I think it's important to address that your health history could be an issue here. For me, prior to keto diet, I was on two years of low fat diet, which was completely the opposite of keto. And then I went on doing fast food mukbang for a year as my YouTube niche. So I pretty much effed up my body before keto by consuming high fat and high carbs. This is crucial to my shoulder pain story because after all these fast food with heavy carbs, I had gained about 20 pounds when I'm doing my mukbang content. I thought I had to stop because I wasn't really happy about my body and it really wasn't worth it to beat up my body this way. So I turned to keto diet vlogs and it was trending then. So I was following the trend, I guess. I mean, what you do for views, right? So I jumped on this keto wagon, cold turkey, and I was consuming tons of fat. I think more than I should actually, so I can get fat adapted quickly. I mean, that's just the purpose of this diet that you train your body to burn fat as fuel instead of burning carbs. And after a week or two, um, my shoulder pain start to happen. One night, as I was sleeping on my side, I had this sharp pain around my back shoulder area that just couldn't go away. And so I had to sleep on my left side. This lasts about a few days, and when I say sharp pain, it's almost like someone pressing down your pressure point with a very sharp object kind of pain, okay? And I was trying to stretch it out, but it was no use, and especially this pain occurs stronger at night when I sleep. And finally, one day, I woke up in the middle of the night because this sharp pain, I was convinced myself that it was a minor heart attack. That's when I freaked out and went to the doctor. But the doctor said it wasn't so, but he asked me about my eating habit. And I told him about I was on this keto for a couple of weeks now. And he suggested me to stop because being on this kind of extreme diet would do more harm than good. I mean, which was true, but he didn't really explained what cause of my shoulder pain. So I went home feeling relieved that it wasn't a heart attack, but my question was not answered. And this is when I encountered Dr. Berg as I was looking into the keto diet and shoulder pain. There were a few videos about this referred shoulder pain regarding liver and gallbladder issue. 
And of course, he explained much better than me. So if you will want to know more about it,、uh, you can definitely Google him. And he's the keto doctor after all, right? To understand the science of this, I guess I have to explain a little bit more about how liver and gallbladder work. I mean, I'll keep it short because I guess this is how I think they work. I mean, I could be wrong, so but hey, it's just my story and my understanding of it. Okay, take it or leave it. So your liver creates bile to break down fat and cholesterols, and it creates enough to break down your fat when you consume food. And this excessive bio was stored in the gallbladder for future use. Now, when I was on a low-fat diet, my liver did not create a lot of bio because it didn't need it. And then I was on a high-fat diet, and my liver was like, "Holy cow! I didn't know how to create that much bio." So excessive cholesterols and fats were not broken down properly in my body, which stored. The cholesterol in the gallbladder, and later on becoming like stones. And gallstone attack occurs when your gallbladder is trying to pump out bile, but it carries some cholesterol stones, and it gets stuck in the tube. I mean, some might be small and would、we'll、call it sluggish gallbladder, and some were bigger, and that would be like gallstone attack, where your doctor would suggest you to remove. Your gallbladder and be on a low-fat diet forever. And my shoulder pain could be the little stones that I stored two years ago when I was on a low-fat diet, and all of a sudden I was on a high-fat diet, and my gallbladder was trying to pump out as much bio as it can, and somehow pumped out some of those little pebbles along the way. It was painful as it went through the tube. I think. I mean, since it's little pebbles, it hurts, but not enough to cause a gallstone attack. I mean, thank God. Um, so I think that was what happened. And now, what did I do to fix it? Doctor Berg suggests to do fasting and take bio salt supplements. Uh, so you can let your body recover its own by fasting and use bio salt to help your body to break down food much quicker. And I did a little bit of that. I purchased his gallbladder formula, which helped me a little bit, I think. But I think most importantly, though, intermittent fasting helped me quickly to stop the pain because it gave me body a rest, so it could repair itself like a detox. You know. Now that we understand liver creates bile, it is important to take care of our liver as well. And I often use ginger in my food or my tea as one of the amazing source to support my liver. Another one I recommend is this dandelion root tea that I drink if I have a heavy meal at night. I mean, this helps my digestion and produce more bile. Well, if you're just a beginner on keto, I mean, so many things could happen, and a lot of reactions really come down to your body is changing and adapting. I don't know if you think it's going to be a healthier choice. But it's definitely making you understand your body much better, right? Because even though I'm being on keto for a year and a half now, I still could not get rid of my keto rash problem, and I still did not have a solid answer why. But what I know is that my body is fatty adapted. I'm creating more ketones, and I feel healthier and happier besides the keto rash. I understand my body better now, so this is just another step for a better lifestyle, I guess. Who knows if I'll be on keto forever? But low carb is something I truly believe is healthier way of living. Thank you for watching till this far. I'm glad to share a full story on this shoulder pain on keto, and I hope I answered your questions. Please leave in the comment if you know other food sources you consume to support your liver and. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.